What can I do to stop smoking? Most people who try to quit on their own relapse, often within a week. However, former smokers report success after several failed attempts at quitting. If you want to quit, talk to your doctor about treatment. In the meantime, here are some easy ways to start. S. Set a quit date when things are going well. Avoid setting a date you know will be hard to quit, like a huge party, a final exam, or a stressful holiday. T. Talk with people who understand. Quitting is easier with support, but people can help you if you don't tell them what's going on and what you need from them. We all need different things, so speak up. Not sure how? Here are some suggestions about how to get the conversation started. Ask your friends and family not to smoke around you. Ask others who are trying to quit for tips and advice to help you stay smoke-free. Let your friends and family know that you may be grouchy while you're quitting. Ask them to put up with you and help you through it. And ask a friend or family member to quit with you. A. Anticipate. Quitting is hard. During the first few weeks, you may feel a little depressed, get cranky or frustrated, feel anxious, nervous, or restless, or have trouble thinking clearly. These feelings are normal, and more importantly, they are only temporary. Most people who start smoking again do it to stop these uncomfortable feelings. That doesn't have to be you. Anticipating and planning ahead will make it easier for you to stay smoke-free. Start with this. Know your triggers. Certain people, places, things, or situations can make you want to smoke. Avoid the temptation. Prepare for cravings. Cravings can only last a few minutes, so come up with a list of things you could do instead of smoking when craving hits. Try quick and easy 10-minute distractions. Plan for withdrawal. Withdrawal is your body adjusting to not having nicotine. Not everyone has symptoms of withdrawal, but if you do, it helps to know what's happening. R. Reminding yourself of your smoke-free goals will help you keep on track when craving strikes. Start by making a list of all the reasons you want to quit and write them down. Use the list to help you get started. Some examples could be, because I want to set a good example for my younger sibling. Because I want to have more money to spend. Because I want to be healthier now and in the future. Because I want my brain and lungs to develop right. Keep your list somewhere you'll see it, like your phone, car, or locker. Don't forget to get rid of things that remind you of smoking. Start by trashing your pack of cigarettes and lighters. T. Track your progress. Use a daily tracker to help you stay accountable and monitor your cravings, mood, and overall progress. Experiment with personalizing your chart and track the things that matter most to you.